Welcome back to the channel. This is another video on account-based profitability analysis in SAP s or margin analysis. In the video today, I will show you a full demo on how attributed profitability segments works in SAP s 2020. When we activate attributed profitability segments, we are able to see in real time all the values that are posted to different cost objects that are planned to be transferred to profitability analysis at period end. Because when we create a cost object, we can tell SAP that we plan to settle the, the values that are posted to these cost objects to profitability analysis at period end using settlement rules or assessment cycles. But this means that during the month, all these values will not be available in our profitability analysis reports. They will only be available when we run the actual cost transfer at period end. But when we activate attributed profitability segments, SAP will also post any values that are posted to the cost objects also to profitability analysis. And these lines will be marked as attributed so we can easily see the difference between them and the actual lines. But this allows us to see all the values in our profitability analysis reports during the month. And at period end, when we run the actual cost transfer, SAP will reverse the attributed line and will post another actual line. And this is the process I'm going to show you in the video today. For the demo today, I will use internal orders. So first, we create the internal order master data, transaction KO01. Insert the controlling area and the order type, the description, then insert a profit center, and click on settlement rules. Here, we tell SAP that we plan to settle this internal order to profitability analysis. We do this by choosing the category, profitability segment. Then press enter, and SAP will open this window. Here you insert the characteristics that you plan to settle the internal order to. So I will use the product FG01. Plant is AG01. And continue. If you would like to modify this selection, you can double click on the line, and then open the profitability segment from here and you can change anything you want. And you can also see that the derivation rules we have have been applied to this selection. So here we automatically have the division, we automatically have the segment, the company code, and if you go down, you can see here we also have this characteristic that we created in the last videos. So the derivation rules have been applied, continue. Now go back and go to control data, release the order. Without releasing, you'll not be able to use this order in any financial posting. So click on release and then save. Now we can post a financial entry to the internal order. I will do this using transaction FB50. I will post a debit to an expense account, this one. Debit 1000. And we have to insert a cost object. So I will use internal order. And I will post a credit to a bank account. As you see in this financial posting, we have no profitability analysis at all. We assign the expense to an internal order. There is no profitability segment. Now post the financial entry. And let's check how this was posted in our universal journal. Go to transaction SA16N. Table Akadoka. I will use ledger 0L, the leading ledger, and my company code to limit the documents. And here I will remove the maximum number of hits and execute. This is the last document posted in my company code. I can tell this from the timestamp. Here we have the document number, the controlling document number, a debit to the expense account of 1000 and a credit to the bank account of 1000. And if you check the expense line, you can see that SCEP has added the profitability segment automatically. So this is an attributed profitability segment. And you can identify this using two ways. The first way is by checking the object class. So if you check the object class here is overhead. And if this was an actual profitability analysis posting, you would find profitability analysis like this one. So this is an actual profitability analysis line. This one is an attributed line. The second way to identify this is using the value in this column. This is called profitability analysis object number relevant for CO compatibility. And if the column has an X, it means this is an actual profitability posting. If it doesn't have an X, it means this is an attributed posting. So now we have an attributed line posted to profitability analysis. You can also see that SAP automatically added the characteristics that were included in the settlement rule. 
So here we have the, prof the product sold. Although the financial entry didn't have any products or any materials, so SAP has automatically determined the characteristics based on the settlement rule. But there is a limitation to this. So if in the settlement rule you have more than one line, so you assign, for example, 40% to a profitability segment and 60% to another profitability segment, SAP will not be able to determine the characteristics. It will post only the profitability segment number, but it will leave the characteristics empty. But because in my example, I only had one settlement line in the settlement rule that was assigned to one profitability segment with one product, SAP was able to determine the characteristics. Now let's continue the process and post the actual settlement so we can see the impact on our universal journal. To settle the internal order, we use transaction KO88. And this is a transaction we run at the end of every month. Here we insert the internal order number, the settlement period, and we can either run a test run or an actual run. So I will remove the checkbox and execute. If there are any errors, you will find them here. You can also click on this icon to see the details. So we have senders, this is the order number. It was settled to the receiver. This is our profitability segment. And the value is 1,200 in controlling area currency, which is USD, or 1,000 in the cost object currency, which is EUR. Now you can also go here to check the more details of the sender. So this is the GL account, the expense account that will be settled. And if you check the receiver, this is the profitability segment and the value. And here we also have the cost element. This is the settlement cost element. And this is different from the expense account we posted. In SAP, when we settle or assess uh, costs to profitability segments or to any cost object, we cannot use the actual account that was used in the financial posting. We have to use a secondary cost element that is used for assessment or for settlement. And this is the actual cost element that we will see in the actual profitability analysis line. Now let's go to Universal Journal and see how this was posted. So switch back to SA16N, refresh, and we, he we have a new document posted to our company code. You can see this from the timestamp. This document has a debit and a credit. We have a debit that was posted as an actual profitability analysis line. So you can see the object class is profitability analysis and we have this X and the credit was posted as an attributed line. So this was posted to settle the attributed line that was posted with the financial entry. So now we have a credit here and a debit. So the net is zero and we have an actual line that's posted in profitability analysis. So now we have no duplication of values. We only have 1000 net that's posted to our profitability analysis. And also we have all the characteristics that we actually settled the internal order to. I hope you found this video on margin analysis interesting and useful. Don't forget to check the rest of the videos in the playlist. I will leave you a link to the next video somewhere here. And I will leave you a link to the last video in the recommended videos up there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.